Hi there, this is Ranjit and uh, I have the Oppo A57 with me and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about the user interface, the UI that is the Color OS 3 found on this Oppo A57 and the UI is sort of very weird and I've noticed some very weird things with this one considering that this is an Android uh, phone and uh, this is a custom UI that they use and before anybody says uh, I'm on the latest update if you just go to updates uh this is the ui that they have and if you go to about the phone as you can see uh, the device number whatever uh, model number color os version 3.0 and this was the latest one i checked the updates and it said that i'm on the latest one so that's what it is and this is a retail unit guys um, and uh, the thing that is this is an android phone uh, but uh, one thing that I've noticed is with almost every Android phone, uh, you see some notifications over here up, uh, have some uh, notification. But uh, whenever you pull down this notification, you always get to this uh, quick toggles. And to get to your notifications, you have to swipe like this. You might say, I'm just picking on it. But again, uh, if you're a typical uh, user like I am, uh, you would be getting a notification, so many notifications, and that can be really irritating. So I haven't found a way to actually go directly to the notifications. For example, I have that notification. So I have to swipe like that. Maybe I'm missing something. There is a setting. I did dig in all the settings, but I simply couldn't uh, get to it. And it's get irritating. Uh, if you are like me, you get hundreds of notifications every day. You have to pull down like this and always go like this to check your notifications. So that's uh, one annoying thing that I have uh, noticed. And another thing is that uh, if you go to the settings and this is regarding the battery starts again if you have used any android phone the battery starts are actually very good on any android phone you get to know this screen on time graphs and stuff but here if you go to the battery starts if you go to the battery starts this is similar to what we get on ios that's iphones uh, you just get uh, stuff like this and there is nowhere we are getting graphs or the actual screen on time that this device was switched on i've been testing this device for the last four days but uh, to show you that the battery life is not that great, I simply can't get the screen on time. To get it, you have to actually, like I was good in every app and total it up. So I don't know why uh, Oppo is doing such a thing. They are hiding the battery stats. I don't know, it's an Android phone. So just give the screen on time and the graph so that user can make an informed decision. But again, I'm starting to see that they are sort of hiding it. If you guys know how to enable it, do let me know in the comment section. I've checked all the settings, I couldn't find it. And now coming to custom launchers. Again, if we have been using an Android phone, you can install a lot of custom launchers on uh, almost every Android phone out there. Uh, you can install custom launchers on this one if you go to, let's say, Google, uh, what is that? Google Now Launcher or whatever. It will allow you to install it. No problems regarding that Google Now Launcher. But what will happen is when you try to open it, it won't let you set it as a default launcher. For example, if I open this app, it'll ask me to go and set it as the default launcher. That's the behavior that you have to do for setting up the launcher. If you go to the settings, great, you have the settings. I will even install Nova launcher. But when you tap on it to make uh, it the default one, let's say even Nova, nothing actually happens. Again, guys, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. The only option you can do is you can delete the custom launcher. So if I tap the, I'm tapping this Google Now Launcher, holding it on also, nothing is happening. So if you press home, you're back to that uh, Color OS launcher. With Nova Launcher, if you just tap it once, it tries to become the launcher. As you can see, now we have the app tray and stuff. But see what happens when you hit the home button. It just reverts back to this uh, original uh, Color OS. So they have also sort of disabled uh, setting up a custom launcher on this Oppo A57. I don't know why. Uh, this is very weird uh, behavior that uh, they are doing. And I don't know if this is uh, specifically to the o Oppo A57. But again, this is also sort of annoying. And if somebody from Oppo is noticing uh, this video, or watching this video, uh, just enable third-party launchers and uh, let the user decide if they want to use a third-party launcher or something like that and lastly coming to the ram management uh, this one is having three gigabytes of ram and i would say the ram management is not that great uh, i've noticed many times after about third or fourth app uh, it tries to reload the app so that is also one thing that i have uh, noticed so these are some of the things that i've noticed that are sort of weird and the biggest weird things is regarding that notification bar whenever you want to see the notification you have to pull this go to the side and also regarding the battery starts, uh, it's sort of crippled. They have crippled it. You can't check the actual battery starts in detail. And also, I don't know why they are disabling the 
custom launcher so if you have the oppo a57 do let me know uh, regarding your experience in the youtube comment section below so guys that's it for now for uh, this video i hope you found this uh, helpful and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video